Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Spaniard, and we're going to cover another kid's book today. Today's book is called The Boy Who Never Gave Up, Stephen Curry. So I'm a wrestler. I'm a professional fighter. I feel very uncomfortable on a basketball court. If there's two places that I feel uncomfortable and self-conscious, it's on a basketball court and it's on a dance floor. But there's a lot of lessons that we can take from this book. And again, it took me five minutes to read. Great book. The Boy Who Never Gave Up by Stephen Curry. From the back of the book, this is the story of a young boy who many said was too short to play in high school, too weak to play in college, and not good enough to play in the NBA. He not only makes it to the NBA, but becomes one of the greatest players to ever play the game of basketball. So if you're anything like myself, you've either had other people and or yourself tell you that you're not big enough, you're not strong enough, you're not tall enough, you're not smart enough, you don't have enough money, you're not cool enough, you don't know the, the right people enough. All of these different things coming at us, telling us that we can't do it, we can't do it. This book, and why I recommend reading it, is a perfect example of overcoming those odds, overcoming those voices, overcoming that negativity. So from a young age, Stephen Curry wanted to be like his dad, Dell, who also played in the NBA. So from a very young age, he knew what he wanted to do. That's setting goals, that's creating a vision, that's knowing where you want to go in your life. There was a, a sentence in the book that reminded me very much of something in my life. In the book, he says, one day I'm going to fight. One day, that was what I said. In the book, he says, I'm going to play in the NBA just like my dad. So from a young age, he said that. So I wrote it down. I wanted to tell it to you. For that reason, that even at a young age, even in middle school, even in high school, heck, I was like six or seven years old when I wanted to start being Rocky Balboa. But I wrote down that sentence for another, eight, for another reason as well. Because when I left teaching, I used to be a Spanish teacher, when I left teaching to become a professional fighter, to pursue the UFC, this crazy, crazy goal right, that I had no business wishing and wanting. I knew nothing about fighting at all, let alone being a professional fighter for a living. But I got home from school one day and I called my buddy and I was talking on the phone and I said, one day I'm going to fight in the UFC. And I believed it. It's like I said it. And that thing he said to me changed. It might have changed my life, to be honest. I think of myself as I'm just Charlie. I'm just this guy. You might think of yourself as I'm just this boy. I'm just this girl. I'm only this much. It's like we talk down to ourselves. But when I said that to my buddy, he said to me, I have no doubt you'll do it because you do everything that you say you're going to do. And I thought, oh my gosh, my mind was blown. I couldn't believe that someone else thought of me that way. It was a complete, complete opposite of how I kind of considered myself. So it was someone else giving me that belief. So you have the power to give that belief to someone else. So this book tells the story of Stephen Curry's hard work, his persistence, being overlooked over and over and over again. And then one of my favorite lines from the book towards the end is, he has proven that never giving up is more important than being the biggest, the tallest, or even the strongest. So whether you're tall or you're small or you don't think you're good enough or strong enough or know the right people, have enough money, all that stuff. This is a great example of the fact that never giving up is more important than being the biggest, the tallest, or even the strongest. So three talking points I want to send at you today. The first one is this. Have you ever been told you're not enough? And how did it make you feel? So have you ever been told that you're not X? You're not this enough. You're not that enough. And how did it make you feel? Say it out loud. Talk about it. And then consider how you can help other people when they're feeling that way. Secondly, Let's talk dreams. What dreams do you have? You might be in middle school. You might be in high school. But what dreams do you have? You're not too young to dream. You do need to know that those dreams need to be backed up by hard work. But what dreams do you have? Say them out loud. Talk them into the universe. And then I want you to state at least one thing, one action, one must do to accomplish those dreams. So you identify the dream and then make like a little list of all of the things you're going to have to do to actually accomplish that dream. And then lastly, in the book, they talk about Stephen Curry listening and preparing and working extra hard. And there's this idea that came to me of being coachable. It's not my, my word, but the, the concept of being coachable came to me. So being coachable, what do you think that means? 
right? You're a coach. If you're coachable, what do you think that means? Boom. There you have it.